Hello all. So in this short video, we're going to do four major things. Uh, we're going to play a little bit with uh, the images in the Excel. First, we're going to insert the emails and uh, see how user form can be activated by just double clicking it. And uh, we're going to put some images, uh, the images that were in the seat one in here. And um, the next one is to create a level. Whenever we click a uh, image, right now the image is jumbled up, but uh, we're going to do better. Uh, you could do such similar interactive programs for your kids. So let's go into it. So the first thing is that we're going to have to import emails. How do you do that? We go to the insert, illustrations, pictures uh, from this device, and uh, I've got some pictures in here. And so we're going to see. Oh, I've already inserted two images, so I'll just go with this one and this one. So insert. Uh, <coughs> look at these cute little pandas. So what I'm going to do is that we're going to set it up like this. And uh, now, how to insert a user form? How to create something like this when we double click it? So uh, you first go to the developer tab and uh, go to the visual basic and uh, uh, you uh, this sort of a screen arises where you've got nothing. So first to add the seat to first create a user form. So we're going to go with the user form 2 and uh, like in user form 1 what we've got here like so First, uh, let's put some images in the user form. How do you do that? So go to the user form tool, and uh, in here you can see a toolbox. In here you can see image button. So click on the image, and voila, there you go. Uh, okay, select the image that you want to copy. Control C, go in here, then go to the picture location. Select here, Control V. Uh, now we've got to fix the size uh, we I like to go with the stretch no, let's not stretch it let's just zoom it and uh, everything seems perfect so let's go with uh, another three of them select select and hold control you can copy it so we're going to do copy the lazy panda again go to the picture control V again control C and again go to the picture control V uh, for the last one I'm just going to go uh, to my file where I inserted it into the worksheet I've got it in the desktop and videos let's just go to which one is remaining uh, the sleeping panda so we are going for the all files baby panda let's go Oh, invalid picture. So I guess there's something error with the format. Control C, but that's the way you do it. And you go to the picture. Control V. Here you go. Now what I like to do is whenever I double click, uh, some kind of message appear like this. Like when I double click, click in here. Uh, here's a message. So we're going to do it like this. So go to the user form double click and uh, usually you would have some option that says click in here so as we don't have we'll create our own click so whenever we click at that I uh, would like to what do we do uh, we haven't created a level here so first let's go to the Where's that level thing? Oh my goodness. Not now, not now, not now, not now, no. Checkbox. Checkbox. Oh, the first one. I'm sorry. So you go to the level. And uh, what? You change the level to. Panda says. And uh, we'll change the font to a little bit of quirky. Tahoma. Now let's, let's go with something fun, alright? Mm, 
Uh, this seems good. Let's go with uh, like 24. Then let's underline it. Okay, and let's just send the color to the palette and a little light. All right. So from this form one, let me see the code. Me that panda says hi. I'm a red panda. Copy it. And uh, I go to the user form. So we got to go here and say uh, user form selected. It's image one. So image one. We got to change the code to image one. Underline. Click. I made a little bit of mistake in there, so let me correct it. So let's just check our code if it's working all right or not. So go to the user form and run it. Oh, hi, I'm a red panda. So now we're going to put the info for other images too. This is image 3, this is image 2, this is image 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, alright. So we're going to go to the image 2, why not just to co copy, control C, okay, and why is my not working? Control V, Control Z, Control V. Some little bit of error I was having. Control V. So that uh, this is uh, what does the click mean is that when you click in it, uh, this subroutine gets activated. In this two, in this three, in this four. So the second one was uh, <laughs> I followed the second one. So the second one was lazy panda. So let's go in here. Uh, let me sleep. So, what does the third one say? Third one say, give me a hug. And what does the fourth one say? Aren't I cute? Okay. And so how do you enable this? Um, so we have to call the user form. Whenever we click somewhere in the seat 2, let's just go to the seat 2 and here's a little bit of code that I would uh, prefer that you copy instead of remembering it. So what does it mean is that whenever I select a range from A1 to C10,000, whenever I double click it, the user form 2 right here, right now, user form 1 is showing, I would like to change this to user form 2. And whenever I double click in such places, the user form is going to show. So for now, uh, let me change to um, A1 to C10. Alright. So C10, double click. Ah, hi, I'm a red panda. Let me sleep. I'm the kid and we'll give you a hug. So you just close it and uh, let's check out C13. Oh, nothing happens. Alright, you could put another thing in C13 and make a little game. So, this is it guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you. Thank you very much.